What's up guys, how is everyone doing? Today we're playing the Stanley Parable, so I really like this game, but I actually never played it and I finally got it, so le let's just do it. Gotta wait for that loading though. Any moment now. Okay. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul wrecking, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. So yeah, let's step out of our office. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. That's breaking a little bit. Uh, what a lovely painting. Hmm. Nope. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I really want to go in the do uh, inside the door uh, in the right, just to know what happens. But I know this, this game has like uh, a lot of different endings, so let's just go for the normal one now. <coughs> Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Hmm. Uh, 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 I've tried this game earlier, and uh, the <laughs> there there are some stuff in here that, uh, that are actually funny, like this slideshow. It's uh, somewhat random at some point. Uh, here, what do people want? Things, happy feelings. Uh, Mike James, you are fired. Money, more money, things, but. With money to buy more things, graphs, graphs about things plus money. We have our new product. What is what is hot? Profits, profits, profits. Pro. Uh, that's the only different one. Hmm. Buy stripes. Oh no, no shit. Colored in segment. Uh, oh, the bus appreciation minute. What's this? To do synergize score value expand uh, shift global market. Uh, okay, stuff. Let's just let's just do our uh, boss's office anyway. Wait, oh, oh. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. I really doubt there's nothing here. That's, there's probably something here. But I really don't know what anyway. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Let's go upstairs then.
Executive bedroom. Can't go in. This place actually looks like uh, the place in the demo. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Of course not. Uh, wh where was it anyway? <laughs> um, the key, the key, the, the what? Oh wait, wait! Oh, this. Stanley this just sat around twiddling his thumbs, trying to input the anything the on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was two eight four five. Uh, I actually wasn't paying attention to what was the device. Oh, oh, oh! Okay. Uh, two eight. Four, five. Okay, okay, I know, I know. Two... Uh, fuck. <laughs> uh. Two, eight, four, five. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. I know, he right? into the newly opened passageway. Where? I wonder, is Stanley actually hearing the the narrator? Uh, probably not, right? But still, though, that wouldn't make much sense. Mm -hmm. Is there anything in here? I can't really see. It's really dark. Uh, that's a wall. Okay. I oh oh my god. What's going to happen? What's happening? Hmm come on loading This game is super interesting. The night narrator. Best thing ever. Descending deeper into the building. Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Stanley walked oh, straight yeah. ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. But I want to go in here. I want to escape. Let's escape. Escape from what, anyway? This game is actually a little bit scary. <laughs> I really don't know why, actually. But let's just go for the normal ending for now, anyway. What's that? What, what's this? Am I like supposed? Oh, the door is closed. Oh, th is this like? Oh, okay. Uh, I, I, I. Uh, okay, something probably is going to happen. Uh, no, no shit. But a lot of lights probably going to see something. Uh, let's, let, let's. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What oh, horrible hell? secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? No. What the hell is going to happen in here? Mm hmm. Cameras for what? Let's just see it then. 
Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Mm -hmm. Oh, am I going up? Up to where, anyway? Oh, but there's still one more, one more passage. Let's 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 just wait. Wait a minute. Uh, where's my number? Uh, four two seven. Four two seven. Four two. Four two seven. There it is. Uh, yep, that's actually my office. I think that's probably it. Let's just see what happens. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? What now? Oh! Oh! An elevator! No! He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in Fired. someone else's control? Never! It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Oh my god, what's happening? But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy, or sad, or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Okay then. Oh, so this... Uh Oh, okay, now the things about the feelings in the demo make sense. But how do I... How do I destroy it? Mind control status offline. Okay then. Oh, big red button. Am I supposed to click it? Or push it? Or... Mind control light or what the hell? Wearing input, wearing input. Hmm. I need to destroy it, right? But how? I know there's a red button over there, but there are some stairs over here. What's up here? The number four. Oh, I remember the demo was a number eight. But mm, I don't know, man. I don't know, guys. Oh, oh, okay. Let's let's see what's in that room over there, anyway. Oh, wait a second. What's over here? Uh, nothing. Okay. Oh. Another button? With a number th number three? What? Oh, what? What's that? Blue, white. <coughs> Sorry about that. Control disabled. Okay then. Oh, the number one and two are over here. What in the flying... Ugh. Oh, number five. Oh my god, the game is glitching a little bit. Can this... Like stop or something. 
And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Oh, so I actually need to be here. <clears throat> then what about the numbers? And the red button. Oh, screw that, right. Oh my god. What happened? Am I okay? What's happening? Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Yes. Oh, he had won. I he thought it wasn't over. The machine unshackled <coughs> himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him, for it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Such a beautiful story. Oh my god. I can see, I can see the... Wait a second. <coughs> For some reason this doesn't look like a door. Oh, 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 it... Okay, it's a door. It kind of looked like a video or something. Okay, let's... Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. The feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. We are back over here, like, just like that. <laughs> I thought there were going to be some credits or something, or just go back to the menu. Okay, then. So that was the normal oh, ending. Oh uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had seen Mr. Memo. So yeah, that was the normal ending, I suppose. Uh, I'll do the other ones in another video then. So, bye.